Good morning, day three. Getting close to being finished. I think we got eight miles out. Slept pretty good, but it was uh, it was it was rough because I was wide awake at 4:44, and nobody else was stirring. So I laid there for over an hour, and then I just sat on the edge of the shelter until come along started ordering breakfast. I wasn't sure if he was dreaming or being funny. <laughs> We thought he was talking in his sleep. <laughs> then Sprite woke up and said if we didn't shut up and give her coffee till she had her coffee. No, it didn't quite work out like that. She was yeah, she, she was actually very pleasant, even though she said that she would not be. But anyway, the sun's not up yet, but it's fairly light. And uh, we're just packing up and drinking coffee. And Sprite did say she has to have at least one liter of coffee before we go and then we'll be on the trail i'm ready to shower you know when on the at it's like you go four days without a shower and it's like eh, okay once you're back in in civilization for several months it's like oh my gosh i haven't had a shower in two days all right we're walking at 7 45 a.m and uh we're hoping for a, a nice smooth day, so I don't think there's gonna be any views or anything. So if I see anything, I'll I'll show you. Oh, here's a, so looks like the best place to tent in this whole shelter area is just a hundred yards past the shelter. There's a perfect spot right here. So if you're here, go past the shelter if you're looking to tent. Y'all ready to finish this up? Carry on. Carry on. I don't know where Sprite is. I can't get her in the camera. Oh, there she is. We're huffing and puffing. We've been climbing straight up. That's a rock face. We've been climbing along the side of it, but it's not showing up on the camera. It goes all the way up to there on the lens. All right, so we got about three and a half miles left. I haven't videoed much, but we have seen, see two backpackers that just started a through hike going northbound. We saw a couple trail runners on the easier parts. And we just saw four older gentlemen that were, I think they were just probably out for the day. They all had packs. They look like day packs. Um, there have been easy stretches. Like right now it's fairly flat and uh, just an easy hike. However, there have been a lot more climbing. There has been a lot more climbing than we anticipated based on the, the maps. The one thing we keep saying is these art low miles are longer than normal miles. This morning we had been going for a mile and a, or an hour and a half. And we were all guessing we had done at least three miles. And I looked and we had done just right at two. So it's, um, I don't know. This trail is not like overly hard, but it's deceptively hard. That's for sure. Anyway, we are... The map I'm using is the MST Guide app. And according to that one, this trail is just a shade under um, 30 miles, like 29.66, I think. But some of the other maps show it up to 31 miles. So I don't really know exactly how far it is. But according to the map that I'm using, I think we have right at three miles right now since I just passed that campsite. But one thing is, I am looking forward to being done. However, I know as soon as I'm done, I'm going to be wishing I was back on trail. I guess that's just how it is. But anyway, this is a nice little spot here. I'll turn the camera around and show you.
What's down there? A fly fisherman. Fly fisherman. All right, so it looks like we are here. Come along over the bridge. Uh, we think that we're about done. We got just a flat area here, but check out these bridges. There's a lot more people around these parking lots. Fly fishing, that's pretty. All right, we're on this just flat gravel path on the way back out. We think we're about done. So this will be a, a wrap on the Art Lobe Trail through hike. So this will be my fourth through hike in the last year and a half. Three of them are short trails, but hey, they count. We got rained on a little bit earlier, and I don't know, I'll ask Come Along and Sprite once we get back to cars what what they think of the trail, but it was deceptively hard. I think um, we definitely underestimated it, and the first day, I, I usually don't set my watch for longer hikes, but I thought, okay, I'll set it. After a little over 30 minutes, it said we were at 0.15. And I thought, well, there's no way that's right. We were guessing we'd done about a mile. Now I'm thinking it was probably right. And our calibration was just way off. But I'm ready to be done and have a beer. Sprite, what are we looking at up there ahead? Looks like the end to me. I mean, we're not there yet. We're about 100 yards, but it looks like we've done it. All right. You got to touch the end. You passed it. Oh. End Art Lobe Trail. Yeah. All right, come along. Now that we're finished, what do you think about the Art Lobe Trail? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> That's what I think. It was very challenging. It was a long 30 miles, wasn't it? It was. Every mile was a mile and a half. I uh, like. You know, I, I have to agree. Hey, Sprite, what did you think about the trail? I think it was very challenging, but the people I was with made it Oh. Uh, no, she, I think we had a great time. Yeah, we did. It was fun. We did have good camping. We had good weather. We got that little bit of rain at the end, but I'm glad to be done. I'm ready to get to Franklin and have a a beer tired. and a shower. My feet hurt too. But. My feet are tired. All right. Well, I'll never get Gretchen to massage them. But. <laughs> Maybe you can take a shower first. You can get rub your feet. Oh, yeah, even then, she won't be good in there. You might should buy you a massage ball, then do it yourself. <laughs> That's correct. All right, have a good one. Thanks for coming along, everybody.